Slicehost was a hosting company. Uh, at the time, the, the type of hosting company we were, uh, you would call a virtual private server hosting company, a VPS company. Um, and really what that is, is cloud before the term cloud became widely used. So um, what we set out to build, the two of us, my co-founder and I, was a hosting company um, on top of virtualization that was completely automated that, the two, that, that could be run by two people. I didn't know how rare of a business it was at the time and how lucky we had gotten that what we were doing was just taken off like crazy. So, The first time what we were missing was uh, anyone who had ever done it before. When we started Slicehost, my co-founder and I had no, we had no business building a business. We didn't know what we were doing. Um, but had we brought uh, uh, money to the table from someone that had experience, we could have mitigated a lot of a lot of that risk. Knowing you're not alone, that's unbelievably valuable uh, and certainly worth the dilution, in my opinion. So I worked at Rackspace for almost two years. I was VP of engineering over the cloud group. I spent about a year uh, in this limbo where I was doing this deep soul searching that probably lots of people go through when they kind of exit a big life-changing moment, you know. Um, and I was in that limbo when Techstars opportunity kind of fell in my lap. Uh, I enjoy almost everything about uh, working with tech stars and investing in and advising and mentoring seed stage companies. Um, but what I probably enjoy the most is, is the diversity of it and the fact that in a, a day I get to spend time thinking about 10 or 20 or 30 different opportunities or problems or issues or companies. Uh, and I don't know, having felt that, if I could ever really go back to just working on one business again. So what I like to contribute is all of my first-hand experience, but I do it in a way, and it's important to do it in a way where the, the founder on the other side of the table knows that these are personal anecdotes and that it's, un, it's not a safe or wise practice to extrapolate from that to some general truth. So the things that were true for me in my startup and my exit and my story, uh, there's no fundamental truth, you know, universal truth to be gleaned from that. Um, the best that you can hope for is to not make the same mistakes that I made. And that's, I think, how most um, very positive mentor-mentee relationships are. So what's the right stage to apply to an accelerator like Techstars? I get this question a lot from companies, and the answer really is a complete team that has a mature idea of what they're trying to do. So it, as an investor, uh, investing capital, someone else's or your own, in a startup ultimately is an exercise in risk attribution. And so you, really what you're trying to figure out is at what point am I willing to join the risk of this company being something? And for us at Techstars, we're willing to do that much, much earlier than an institutional VC, but there are still things, some things, risks that we don't want to take. Uh, and, base, and on the line of, of risk spectra, uh, for us that's team. So we don't want to take any risk, any team risk with you. Um, so we, we want to see that you have all the members of the team that you need to go and get to the next stage of, of, of making something real and that you have a, a rough idea of where, of where you're aimed. When is the right time to make a tough call as a bootstrapper? Uh, because the ax is always hanging over your head. It's all about the tension of walking the fine line, getting exactly the right balance. You know, how much tenacity do we have to push through something that doesn't seem like it's working but that you have belief in versus get, giving up versus trying again? Like, it is all about balance. You know, life is balance. And, and the people that can walk that fine line, like, they're the ones that are successful. Uh, and it's, if you were to go um, build the, the Ten Commandments of how to, you know, the, the Bible of how to build successful companies, you know, the, probably the last entry would be no one to break all of the above rules, right? And that's that's kind of what it comes down to is sometimes you just you're just dancing dancing in the in the fire, right? Mm -hmm.